guys welcome back today i'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite girl dinner so please stay tuned and let me show you how so let's begin by first washing and drying all of your fruit and veggies in a large cast iron skillet which is my vessel of choice for today <laughs> i added three to four tablespoons of butter because butter makes everything better and I started um, toasting up some sliced baguette slices and I like to um, slice them diagonally that way you have more surface area to work with <laughs> and um, yeah just cook them on each side for about one and a half minutes until your desired golden consistency now if you need to add more butter i will just look away <laughs> i won't tell <laughs> and um yeah you guys if you do get you know some leftover ingredients trust me you will find a way to use them up whatever leftover fruit you have i like to use it as toppings for oatmeal the next day and the tomato um bruschetta topping i like to use that to make cherry tomato pasta the next day trust me there will be a use for everything and that is the wonderful thing about this dish is that you're using things that you will normally buy <laughs> and um yeah you're making something beautiful and delicious even if it's just you for that night and i like to finish these off by rubbing some fresh raw garlic <laughs> to inject some delicious garlicky flavor and um back to our iron skillet we're gonna go ahead and caramelize our fruit slices i added some additional evoo and then we are gonna just um yeah go ahead and caramelize those delicious fruit slices and let me tell you guys my favorite part out of this meal were those pears they were just super super yummy i just could not stop eating them and um yeah once they are nice and golden you can go ahead and remove them and cooking them is going to um just intensify um the flavor and caramelize those sugars those natural and delicious sugars you guys and you can use any type of stone fruit this is just what i normally have handy because i just eat these all of the time and um yeah you guys go ahead and cook them down until your desired um level and then you can go ahead and move them aside um, i like to cook on medium to high heat and when you are working with a cast iron skillet always be mindful of the heat um, i went ahead and removed the peaches out of the way and then i started cooking about one fourth of diced onions you can use shallots purple onion white onion whatever you have on hand also i add a little bit of kosher salt that just helps your onions cook down a lot faster and you are laying those flavors as you go along um, so yeah go ahead and saute your onions for about i would say three to four minutes until they turn translucent then you can move on to the next step and um yeah this is a one pan meal because we're not trying to be doing dishes all night <laughs> and um yeah everything is super yummy trust me if you just work through the steps you will only need one pan <laughs> so i moved those delicious um, golden pears out of the way and it took everything in me not to eat them because they were just calling my name <laughs> and um yeah you guys go ahead and um continue cooking your onions and next we're gonna add our ingredients to make our tomato bruschetta topping for our savory pieces um you can use cherry tomatoes uh, grape tomatoes honestly i don't see the difference but <laughs> they are different because one um the cherry tomatoes are round you guys i guess that's all i can tell but anyways i guess these are grape tomatoes <laughs> i'll go ahead and slice them lengthwise and add them in and i know you're 
probably asking yourself why are you making so much but like i had mentioned earlier this is going to turn into pasta okay <laughs> so we are working smart here <laughs> nothing will go to waste and i like to season mine with about half a tablespoon of crushed red pepper um, pepper flakes and um, just cooking the red pepper flakes is just going to really help those flavors bloom i never add crushed red pepper flakes just raw on top of food i just don't get the point of that it's it's not gonna it's not gonna do or give what it's supposed to give okay just trust me on this one <laughs> and then you already know garlic girl's gonna add in her garlic i like to um thinly slice them um you know lengthwise and that is gonna give you the strongest flavor because you know it's just us you know we want to scare away the vampires <laughs> and um yeah why not super yummy super delicious i for one love garlic and i always 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 add your garlic in last because you do not want to burn your garlic when people think they don't like gar garlic it's just because they overcook it and burnt garlic is bitter and sour so once you can smell it it is done you guys that's what you go by once you smell the garlic once it's fragrant it is done <laughs> i added in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to make this you know a little bit more saucy and to make sure it did not burn um, but this is pretty much done at the very end is when i taste for seasoning i determined that i needed some freshly cracked black pepper because yes <laughs> and of course a little sprinkle of additional kosher salt or if you have some flaky sea salt that's gonna work wonderful as well those are the two salts that i like to use at the end i just think they melt beautifully and season your food the best um now let's go ahead and arrange our beautiful platter because we love ourselves and we love to make everything look nice and beautiful and um yeah i just went in there with my hands um if you have guests um you can use a knife i guess <laughs> i honestly would have used my hands anyways because my hands are clean a chef always has clean hands you guys um and we're all chefs around here okay in my kitchen i am a chef <laughs> and um yeah waste not and whatnot and trust me i wanted all of it <laughs> go ahead and arrange all of your deliciously toasted and garlicky flavored baguettes and top off with all of your delicious burrata now if you just have mozzarella um add some slices that will work just fine and then i went ahead and i started arranging my fruits <laughs> and this is super super yummy you guys any combination will work and um i think i remember reading somewhere that tomato is a fruit so if someone can please look into that and let me know in the comments but i think i read that somewhere so <laughs> this is basically super healthy <laughs> and um yeah you can um pair with whatever you'd like i like to pair the pears <laughs> with blueberries um i had those in my fridge so i was like why not and then i pair my peaches with sliced grapes just makes it for a super yummy bite but if you have some strawberries the peaches and the strawberries also go super super well together and then i added my balsamic glaze onto my bruschetta baguettes and of course some fresh basil um for the sweet ones i added mint because i eat those last you guys there's an order to these you eat the bruschetta ones first and then you eat the sweet ones last because that is your girl dessert <laughs> and i like to also add um, whatever nuts i have handy so either um pine nuts or sliced almonds work super good or even walnuts that would have been super super yummy and um just use whatever you have i mean if you have peanuts go ahead girl <laughs> i won't tell nobody <laughs> and um yeah i added the finishing touches or little pine nuts here and there those go on the savory ones and then i drizzled some hot honey on the pear and the peach slice baguettes 
and um yeah you guys we're getting close to the end i know that you guys are gonna absolutely love this and of course you already know this makes a great appetizer for you and your loved ones as well so enjoy this recipe so we're at the end and i just want to thank you guys so so much for watching please stay tuned for my next video and don't forget to like and comment and i will see you guys next time bye